welcome. In this video, we are going to see algebra of complex number. Now, to have an algebra of any number, we need at least two numbers. Means algebra means what? Nothing but we are doing here addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. So, to perform these operations, definitely we should have two numbers. And we want to perform the algebra of complex numbers, right? So, I have to consider here two complex numbers. Okay? So, let here x1 plus iy1 and x2 plus iy2 be the two complex numbers. Okay? Now, first I am going to show you here how to do the addition of complex numbers. Okay? So, here your first complex number is x1 plus iy1 plus your second complex number is x2 plus iy2. Open here brackets. Real part with real part. Write down x1 plus x2 plus imaginary part with imaginary part. iy1 plus iy2. Now from here, I can find i common. So it is x1 plus x2 plus i common y1 plus y2. And now if you observe here, addition of two complex number is also a complex number. This is the real part and this is the imaginary part of the complex number. I can write this in the form C plus ID where your C is X1 plus X2 and where your D is Y1 plus Y2. Right? So whenever you do the addition of two complex number, definitely you will get a complex number. Okay? So I hope you all understood how to do the addition of complex number. Let's do here subtraction. Now, subtraction of complex number. So, let's write here x1 plus iy1 minus x2 plus iy2. Okay? Again here, real part with real part. But before that, as you can see, it is a subtraction. So, multiply by the minus sign to this bracket first and then we'll separate. So, x1 plus iy1 as it is. Open here bracket. So, both the term will be negative. And now, real part with real part. So, this is x1 minus x2 and imaginary part with imaginary part. So, plus iy1 minus iy2. And uh, here, if we find i common, x1 minus x2 plus i y1 minus y2. So, as you can see, subtraction of two complex number is also a complex number. This is the real part of the complex number and this is imaginary part of the complex number. So, I hope you all understood. Now, let's do here multiplication. So, for the multiplication, x1 plus i y1 into x2 plus i y2 equals to. Now, how we do the multiplication? Matlab, do bracket ka agar multiplication hai, to ye first term se puri bracket ko multiply karna. So, I can write here x1 into x2 plus i y2 then this sign plus i y1 multiply by the second term now by uh, to this bracket x2 plus i y2. Open your brackets now. So, this will be x1 x2 plus i x1 y2 plus i y1 x2 plus i into i that will be i square y1 y2. Okay. Now here as we all know i square is minus 1. So, your this term will be negative because 
I'm going to replace your i square by minus 1. Okay. So here, what we have to do? Real part with real part. Because here i square of minus 1 se replace karne wale ho, to here i ki term i ki nahi. So this term is going to be real. So I'm going to write here x1, x2 minus y1, y2 plus from the here find i common x1, y2 plus y1, x2. So this is how you are going to do the multiplication of two complex numbers where this is real part and this is imaginary part for the complex number. Okay. So I hope you all understood how to do the multiplication of two complex numbers. Let's see here how to do the division. Now here we are going to do the division of two complex numbers. x1 plus i y1 upon x2 plus i y2. So whenever there is a division of a complex number, always remember you have to multiply and divide by the conjugate of the denominator. Okay. That means x1 plus i y1 upon x2 plus i y2 into now conjugate means what plus ke jage par aapko si pya par minus use karna hai that will be the conjugate for the denominator so this is x2 minus i y2 upon x2 minus i y2 this is our adjustment now let's See here at the denominator, we all know the result a plus b in bracket a minus b. That is a square minus b square. So according to the result, I can write at the denominator x2 square plus i y2 whole square. And that numerator that will be product of x1 plus i y1 into x2 minus i y2. And we all know how to solve this product now. So first of all multiply by x1 here. So that will be x1 x2 minus i x1 y2 plus i y1 x2 then plus or minus so that will be minus i square y1 y2 divided by x2 square i square i square we all know that is minus 1 y2 square so as you can see ab yaha par i ki koi bhi term nahi hai to ye completely real term ho gayi okay so this is not now a complex number this is completely a real number okay because yaha par i ki term abhi present nahi hai right so here from i square is minus 1 so that is going to be plus so this is x1 x2 plus y1 y2 now here from let's write uh, i common this positive term first and then this negative term divided by x2 square minus y2 square that is equals to separate your denominator so x1 x2 plus y1 y2 divided by x2 square minus y2 square plus i in bracket y1 x2 minus x1 y2 divided by x2 square minus y2 square now this is your division of two complex numbers where you have separated the real and imaginary parts. So this is your real part of the complex number and this is your imaginary part of the complex number. So I hope you all understood how to separate the real and imaginary part when the complex number is in division. Simply you have to multiply and divide by its rational, whatever is a complex number at denominator. Okay, jo bhi denominator mein complex number hoga, uski rational se, sorry, uh, uske conjugate se, aap logo ko yaha pa multiply and divide karna hai, not rational. Let me correct the word. Okay, this is a conjugate. So, I hope you all understood the algebra of complex number. In next video, we are going to see 
amplitude and modulus of complex number thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe the channel to get the notification for next video